I'm second! Lucky one. Perhaps one of the few places untouched by the reality of a pandemic is the virtual world of gaming. Interesting! Evelyn Tan is a PhD student in gaming at the University of York, and she says the rise in people playing the sport isn't surprising. Games are virtual playgrounds, and if you can't spend time with people in real life, then you can enter a virtual world and do, um, you can kind of do similar things. Um, there are kind of crazy games out there. Some of them are like, you know, there's a walking simulator if you want to walk in different platforms. Um, or a very popular one now is like Animal Crossing, which is essentially a virtual world, and people kind of go in and do all sorts. You can like fish, you can farm, you can just explore. <laughs> Games like Football Manager have seen a rise of just over 60% in the number of players during peak time. And the reasons behind this haven't gone unnoticed by those in charge. When lockdown first happened in the UK, we were particularly concerned with people's mental health um, in, the, in the run into learning how to, one, work from home, but also dealing with people being furloughed um, as well. So we actually made the game free for people to play for a couple of weeks and saw crazy numbers on maps, three, three quarters of a million people um, who tried the game during that period. There are some who would argue such a surge in numbers poses a worry. Gaming addiction is listed as a mental health condition by the World Health Organization. But those within the industry say it's all about balance. It's a way to make you feel calm and distract you from any anxieties you might have about our current situation, then then do it. You know, I think there's a lot of stigmas around, you know, playing a game for eight hours a day is looked on more negatively than, you know, streaming and, and binging an entire box set of, of a TV series. But actually gaming is a way for you to catch up with people. It's a way for you to learn more about the world. Yeah, yeah Tower's not even hitting. Johan Sunstein, seen in the corner of your screen, is a professional esports player. He's had all his tournaments cancelled. And for him, the sport is more now about community than competition. That community is great. It's what makes everything possible. Very interactive, uh, very passionate. Whenever I do a post or I see anyone else doing a post or whenever there's a game going on, it's a it's a lot of eyes on the same thing, and everybody trying to find their own inside jokes. <laughs> it's these moments of fun that probably explain the current boom in online gaming. But the unknown costs this will have on mental health will still be a worry for some. Fathers, it's a chance to find connection in a lonely crisis. Lithia Rajan, ITV News. This is their team speak right now. Guys, 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 look at Paul, 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 look at Paul,